Varsity here with head coach Jarvis Davis of the West Mac Heart. Uh, coach, you got the job in the offseason. Tell us about uh, the transition from um, going from Coach Caldwell to yourself. Uh, transition's been kind of easy. Um, being that I was a defensive coordinator, I knew a lot of the kids. Um, and the kids knew my work ethic and things I like to do. So coming in was kind of was kind of real good because the kids knew we was going to hit the weight room hard, we was going to work out hard. They already knew we had that relationship between each other, so it's been real kind of smooth transition in. Great, great. And so how did your offseason go overall? Offseason was great. Offseason was great. The weight room, the kids really improved. Uh, we had a lift done went okay. real well. You can see how the kids grew from where they first maxed out to where they are now. You can see it in their body, their their body tone, they're bigger, they're faster, they're stronger. That's the one thing I told the kids when I got introduced was I wanted them to be bigger, faster, and stronger. And I think they've worked out, they've brought into that program. Excellent, excellent. Um, so talk about your offense. I know you're you're a heck of a defense coordinator, and I think you, you do a, a really good job on that side of the ball. So what, what's your offense going to look like this year? Offense, we're going to the, uh, to the spread. We're going to spread it out. We have a lot of skill, guys. So what we want to do is put those guys in positions to be successful, um, put the defense in a hard position to cover, and put our guys in one-on-one -on -one opportunities to make a break, um, to make someone miss and create something big. And I think we have the guys to do it. I think you do too, Coach. That's that's awesome, man. Uh, so talk about some of those guys you, you want to highlight on both sides of the ball. Okay, first we'll start out with our quarterback, Richard Lattimore. He's a great guy. He's a rising senior. Um, can, can really throw the ball around. He showed that when he played elite. Elite really helped him out. He, he really stood out with elite. Um, in seven-on-sevens, he's really showed that he's becoming a great leader. Uh, Deami Brown, which everybody knows about yep. Deami Brown, has yep. a lot of offers. He's a skilled guy. They often ask me, what position does he play? And I say every, because he's the type of guy that can play any position. You put him on there with, without even having a problem with it. He will, he will go anywhere um, on offense. Then we have Tyler Barnes. He's, he's a 6'4 guy. Um, mm -hmm. he's, been, he's had a great offseason. I mean, from Cam Newton to FCA at UNCC, he's had a great offseason this year. On our defensive side, um, Trajan McQueen, which a lot of guys know about, that's my Mike linebacker. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very strong guy, great leader. Uh, he, he doesn't talk a lot, but he leads with his actions. And that's one thing I love him about him. That's in the classroom and outside the classroom. Always takes control of the defense. He's To me, he's me. He, he can do anything. I, I give him opportunities to call the defense, to change defense if he needs to, because he knows what I like. He really studies the game football and defense. Um, in our secondary, we have Justin Fields. He's a rising senior, um, great cornerback. His brother plays at Duke, so and I, and I often see him working out with his brother. Mm -hmm. He's a guy who comes in before practice and leaves after everybody else leaves, putting in that extra work. And I, I'm really looking for big things for him. A um, couple big linemen, Zaire, Jasper, uh, really hit the weight room hard, got himself in shape. He's going to be on both sides of the ball, and I know he's going to be, be that guy. Um, and Kadojo Bella, those, those guys there, he's, he's offense and defense. Those just, just highlighting a couple guys that's on the line. Um, I, could, I could go on and on about every player because oh, yeah. the guys that came in, um, the guys that's here now, they, they really brought into the program. So I hate that I can't just sit here and mention every kid we have. Um, but they've really brought into the program. They want to take West Met to a whole new level, give them a new outlook, um, change the culture, and just and just become winners, man. Become, um, you know, do something for the school. Make put the school on top. That's great, man. Now you talk about going to the next level. What what's the biggest thing that that needs to to change for you guys to get there? Um, it it, it was that that weight room and that, that understanding you can win. Mm -hmm. Football is a game of life, and, and that's what I tell the kids every day. So it's gonna have ups and downs. So this football really te really brings a man out of it because oh, yeah. things go hard. It shows that am I going to just lay down and stop or am I going to get up and keep moving. And that's why I love this game. So the kids really have to understand that even when times go hard in the game, times go hard in practice, we have to get back up. We come together as a brother. So I always tell them times get rough, we come together. Times get hard, we come together. We're never individuals. And long as we keep saying we, I always say we because we are West Mac. I told them if we win, West Mech win. It's not you did that, you did that. So just coming together, becoming one team, and just working hard. That's great, Coach, man. I, I think you, you got it going in the right direction. We've heard great things about you guys. We're looking forward uh, to really watching you guys this year progress.